Nigeria has become one of the newest but very well prepared arenas for the Iranians to operate in. Iran's expansion through the country has been patiently established in the last three decades. Tehran infiltrated Nigeria with its so-called soft power, mainly through religious preaching to spread Shiite Islam. Ibrahim Zakzaki is considered to be a key figure in paving the way for Iran to gather supporters among the Nigerian population. Zakzaki, being the leader of Shia Muslims in Nigeria, started calling for an Iranian-style revolution to create an Islamic state in the country's northern areas. Zakzaki converted to Shiism in the early 1980s, when he started spreading the teachings of Ayatollah Khomeini among his fellow countrymen, in a political context which should lead to the establishment of the Islamic State in Nigeria. At first, Zakzaki's approaches were strictly peaceful, up until the end of 2015, when events took a different turn. In December 2015, Zakzaki's followers, who were attending a religious ceremony, interrupted the convoy of the Nigerian Chief of Army Staff, General Tokir Yusuf Buratai. The Nigerian authorities considered that as an attempt to assassinate the general. Soon after, the army was accused of deliberately shooting dead followers of the pro-Iranian cleric. Iran's Revolutionary Guard as well found its way to operate in Nigeria, specifically by using Lagos Harbour to smuggle weapons to the country. In one court case, dating back to 2010, a member of the Revolutionary Guard was trialed for smuggling Iranian weapons. Nigerian authorities reported the incident to the Security Council. Later, three Nigerian young men were arrested as well and accused of plotting to target American interests in the country. The men have been reported as members of the Iranian Revolutionary Guard and received intensive military training in Iran. Oh, yeah. 